been a very good year for one of my favorite companies, International Flavors and Fragrances, IFF. Even though the stock is up 27% for 2017, you know what? This company doesn't get nearly enough credit from Wall Street. I like to describe IFF as a stealth technology play. The company develops proprietary flavors and scents for the food, beverage, personal care, and household products industries. We know how competitive things have gotten in the food and consumer packaged goods space. These businesses are always fighting for market share. They need any edge they can get, which is where IFF comes in because a better taste or a better smell can give these players a real advantage over your competitors. Now, last week, IFF reported an excellent quarter. a five-cent earnings beat off a dollar forty-two basis, higher than expected revenue of 12% year-over-year. Stock surged in response, although thanks to the weakness late last week, the stock is now four bucks down from its 52-week high, so should you pounce? Let's take a closer look with Andreas Fibbing. He's the chairman and CEO of International Flavors and Fragrances. Find out more about the quarter and how great this fantastic old line company, believe or not is doing. Mr. Fibbing, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to meet Good you. Good to see you. Holy cow, you brought me some Bar San Miguel tortilla yeah. chips. I hope it tastes as well as it looks well, like. Well, let's find out. Yeah. Uh, I immediately want to know, and our viewers will want to know. Okay, so what do you do for taste? What is it, you know, what is your part in the process? So what is really important here is that if you look at the new taste, the new what people really want, what new, what younger people want mm -hmm. and how taste is changing in this country, it's really important that you have a clean label. And that's something which we accomplish right. here with mango salsa. A clean salsa. label. Clean label. Now, what does that mean? That means basically that you have very few artificial ingredients. Right. It's all natural. And is that because the younger people, they look at this stuff now, right? They, they look, look at, at the this. label, yeah, absolutely. We never looked. You and I yeah. never looked, right? We just took it for granted it tasted good. True. So that is a clean label product, and uh, we believe it will excellent fit into the, the remake of restaurants like Bar San Miguel. Well, let me ask you. This has a terrific kick to it. The old days, I would presume if you bought it in a store, it wouldn't have a kick because too many people would not want it. Has it chipped to the point where if it doesn't have a kick, younger people won't take it? Yeah, exactly. And that's the reason why you really have to segment your consumers. And that's what we do. We do every single year around about 500,000 consumer interviews to find oh out God. what is specific, what is going on, what is the latest trend, and then we design our products. Now, I saw you've got this huge plant uh, that factory open up in China. Now, I mean, to me, that means you had a billion more people who may be even introduced to, well, I know IFF does business everywhere, but this is a very important plant, right? No, absolutely. And we have outgrown our, our uh, older ingredients plant in China, and that's the reason why we built a new one with a more capacity and with a better sustainability footprint as well to make sure that we basically comply to all the regulations right. and that we can show what we can do in China. And that's mostly actually for the Chinese market and some export as well. Okay, well, interest. one of the things that I, people need to know, it's not like you're putting up numbers, 20% uh, profitability, adjusted operating pro, uh, profit margin, high return, 17.6%, uh, operating cash flow growing, but you're not a young company. How are you able to accelerate like this? Yeah, actually, a company is 128 years, years old. So there are two secrets, I, I would say. One is differentiation through technology. Right. And if you look like to a product like this, it's a lot of technology in which helps us basically to create these products. We acquired a company called Powder Pure in Oregon earlier this, this year. And what they take is they take food side streams and have an infrared drying technology, which is patented, and they make it into powder. And that is 100% natural. You can use it for taste solutions. It's in here, for example, and for color solutions. So differentiation is key. And the second thing is what we have discovered over the last couple of years that many of our smaller customers are actually much more dynamic in the market than the bigger ones. And we have now an extra unit, it's called Taste Point here in the US, focusing right. on this middle market, and it's really growing very well in double digits. Well, you know, this is interesting, because the fight over Procter & Gamble was about, and this is uh, Mr. Peltz uh, versus mm -hmm. the board, was a was fight over the little units that, are, that, have the, that hit home versus the big ones. And then we I, I talk to Estee Lauder all the time. They are an incubator, but they must be using you. No, absolutely. Certainly, both companies are customer of, right. customer of ours. And they're doing a nice job, in particular uh, Estee Lauder, in these smaller customers. They're it's buying amazing. these companies, and they're leveraging it, it very, very well. And that's exactly how we do it with Powder Pure and with Lucas Myers Cosmetics, where we have active uh, uh, cosmetic ingredients now. 
Now, uh, that has to be local, too, because I am told from uh, people who use the iPhone and big, and big uh, cosmetic companies, yeah. every market is different. And for cosmetics, every market is different. So you have to be local just to be able to service those markets. Absolutely. And IFF has 34 creative centers in different countries and markets where we really find out what the consumer wants and what can we offer to our customers. All right, one last thing, because I know we've got to go, but please tell people how much, how many roses you have to use, say, to get an ounce of rose oil. Yeah, you... It's almost a metric ton for just a kilogram, which a is A metric huge. ton? Yeah. So you have to have roses from all over the world. All over the world. We have uh, fields in Turkey or in Romania to harvest it and bring it to grass in France, where we do all these natural solutions. Well, you're, you know, you work at a remarkable company, and you're Terrific CEO. That's An that's Andreas Fibig. He's the uh, International Flavors and Fragrances Chairman and CEO. We all call it IFF. What a great company. Thank you so much. Thank you. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.